Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is another paper versus pencil test and today we're going to be testing it on the Maria Trolley paper. Now for those of you who are new, if this is your first time, I have been doing a series of videos um, and going through all the different types of paper and books that I have and testing what color pencils that I feel like work the best. Now it's my own opinion, I'm not a professional, so you may feel differently, but this is just how I feel, what pencils I would be okay with using in these books. I look for like scratchiness, whether or not they're smooth, um, creamy or buttery, those kinds of things. And here in here, I have 25 different sets of pencils and I have three colors of each pencil in this pencil case. Um, I created this set for this test. So in the very back of the Maria Trolley books, I don't know if you know this, there is a test your pens here. Well, we're not testing pens, we're testing our pencils. I have a pencil here to write yes or no, I'm going to write on here instead of in a little book. So we're going to start with ink tents which I know I say this every time, I don't know anyone that uses them dry. So this is as a dry. To me, they don't, they're not smooth. They, they feel like they want to stick on the paper. Um, so I wouldn't want to use them dry and I'm testing them as dry, not um, activating them. So it's, these are a no. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to continue to, you, to test the ink tents or if you guys use them dry ever. Um, these are the Brute Fruiner Squares. Oh, that one felt scratchy. Purple one feels really good. The blue one, uh feel horrible I mean they're not my favorite but I would use them so I'll go to yes let's see I'm really trolley to me their paper is very um smooth next set I have is the Brute Funer 520s These almost have the want to stick to the paper feeling to me. Like, I don't think I'd like to color a whole page with these pencils. And that's what I'm looking for. I want to enjoy it. So if I don't like the way the pencils feel, I'm not going to enjoy coloring it. So I'm going to say no. Next ones are my Mondo Llamas, which I know they tell you this every time, but somebody might be new. These are the Target brand. They're definitely a layering pencil. And they're very, I mean, they glide. They're not smooth and it, I mean, soft at all. It's a very, I don't know how to explain it, like a dry, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to use them. If you have hand problems, it's definitely not the pencil for you. Um, I'm going to say no, because I don't think I would want to use them. Next is Crayola. These are softer than these, but... Oh, that's pink. I already used pink. Purple. I don't think I'd want to use these either. They have almost, it's like a combo between the dry and the sticky feeling. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm going to say no. Uh, the next ones I have are my regular Star Joys. So 
Fridays feel the best out of all these sets I've tested so far. They glide nicely. Um, they're a little bit on the softer side. They're not like creamy, creamy. I would say yes, Star Joys. Next ones we have are the Star Joy Gold. People say these are supposed to be comparable to the polychromos. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, and they are supposed to be a layering pencil. They're scratchy. I feel like they're scratchy. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. All right. We have our colors. This is the 240 set. Okay, these feel the best so far. They feel better than those. I'm gonna say yes for these. They glide very nicely. They're softer, not, I wouldn't say creamy, but they are softer. And they felt better than the Star Joys. Um, my next set I have is my Mark Art. These are a combo between they have the they want a stick feeling, but they also feel kind of dry, like not, not dry is not the word. Um but not creamy in any way. Um I don't think I'd want to use them on a full page. So I'm gonna put no for me. Um next one I have is my Artix. I don't know. This is a hard decision. They don't stick. They don't, it's not the sticky feeling, so that's good. I would say yes. I think I would use these. Arctics. I'm going to say yes. Sorry. That's loud. Uh, next ones are my Arteza Experts. I feel like I don't like any pencils on this paper. Um, I don't like these. I'll just tell you that right now. And they have that wanna stick, like they're not very so we're gonna say no. Alright. We're almost through with the budget friendly ones. Next we have a black widow. I like these. Um, they glide nicely. I wouldn't say they're creamy. They don't feel have that sticky feeling. So I'm gonna say yes. Let's see what this next ones feel like. And these ones are usually like way buttery. These are the Indras. Mm. These are like coloring with crayons. I like these. These are yes. Yes. So they're creamy, buttery, smooth, felt good. They got lots of pigment. I don't think you, if you have hand problems, I think that would be a good pencil for you. Um, fluid. I don't know if they come in regular colors. The only know they set I've ever seen is the pastels. So this is the Flowoods. And they are scratchy. 
so no. No, 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 no. I don't like the scratchy feeling. Let me know if you guys mind it, if they're scratchy or not. Castle Arts. Um, these feel like the Black Widows do. They're nice. I like these. So these are a yes. They have a very similar feeling to the Black Widows. All right, my next set, my last of the budget sets is the Amazon Basics. Oh, I like these. I like these a lot. All right, these I'm putting a star by. These are my favorites so far. <laughs> Way smooth, um, soft, um, not like creamy buttery like this, but they felt really good. Okay, Spear Farbens. All these feel like those. I like these. Oh, I like these a lot. So these are a yes too. I'll put a star because they felt just like the Amazon Basics. But if you notice, same pressure, these have more pigment to them. And these are a lot cheaper than those. Just in case you were wondering. Prismacolors. Oh yeah. Can't go wrong with these. <laughs> There's like, yeah, these are amazing. Like crayons. <laughs> like the Indras. These, these are my go-tos. If I had to choose, I would most usually use, except for the Rita Berman paper. I do not like Prismas and Rita Berman paper. Polychromos. Well, these don't feel bad. That one's kind of scratchy. Yeah, I would use these. Um, at least they glide nicely. They wouldn't be my favorites. I'd say they kind of felt like the um, root finger squares a little bit. All right, the next ones I have are my Albert Dewars, which are the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils, but I know there are people out there that use these dry. And these to me feel like the ink tents. I would not want to use these dry. So I'm going to say no. They want to, like they want to stick. So what I mean by they want to stick is like, it doesn't feel like they just, I could color just nicely. It feels like they just want to stick. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. All right. Chroma Flows by Derwent. Um, these are like a cross between wanting to stick and scratchy. So I'm going to say no. Next set I have is my Color Soft by Derwent. And they are soft. But I don't think I'd want to color a whole page in them because they kind of feel like they want to stick. They kind of feel like how they do in the eerie books. So I'm going to say no. Because as you guys know, or if you watch my channel, I am doing a full book color along out of The Romantic Country, The First Tale by Eerie. And I did use the color softs in there and, and the chroma flows and I did not like them. So these are the Derwent Life Fast, the most expensive Derwent set, I, I think. And I'm going to tell you no right now. They have that sticky feeling. I wouldn't want to color a whole page with these. Definitely not. Um, and the Light Fast, the Super Colors, and the Luminance, I don't have full sets. I have a couple pencils just for this test. I got them. Let's see. Super Colors. This is the Watercolor Pencils by uh, Karen Dash. 
and I would use these dry. I would definitely use these. They um they're they glide nicely. They're not creamy in any way. Um, good pigment. I don't. If you had hand problems, I don't think I think these would be good. I don't think you'd have to do lots of layers. These are the luminance. Yuck! That just gave me the eebie-jeebies. Like I got chill bumps. It's like chalk on a chalkboard. Like scratching your nails. That's how it felt for me. It's a definite no. All right. So there we have it. That is, I'm gonna set these over here for a second. That is what we have for our Maria Trolle pencil versus paper test. Now I was going to pull out, I got my little journal here off to the side and I, we were, I was gonna go over what papers so far I have left to test. So, um, the Camilla Derrico Amazon Black Back, the Circle of Life or the Melpomene C books, Kirby books, um, the Japanese, like the Yururi Mouse books, those ones, um, the Christine Karen, the premium paper, which I think these two are the same paper. So I might just do one for both, the Jasmine Beckett Griffith. But let me know any other papers that you can think of. I have already done the Eerie books. We've done Mythographic, Hannah Carlson, Denise Klett, Creative Haven, Amazon, regular white back paper, Lulu Mayo, Joanna Basford, both different types because her older books are different than her newer books. And I have done the Disney Hatchet Hero books. So, yeah, let me know if there are any other types that you would like to see. Yeah. If you're new here, welcome. And um, if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe and join us. Make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos and the thumbs up that you like it. I'd really appreciate it. I so enjoy making these videos and talking to all of you and I look forward to talking to all of you soon.